<laughs> nice to see you. It's been an exhausting been an exhausting Reese, couple hours. I will save you, Reese. <laughs> no, Reese, don't go. I'll have you. <laughs> Next week on Person of Interest. <laughs> hey guys, we are here with uh, Kevin and Jim from Person of Interest. That's uh, what we work for. Yeah, that's yeah, oh, okay, that's what cool. I hear. Right, no, okay. that's, the, that's the word on the street. <laughs> All right. uh, you know, uh, we did the panel earlier today. Uh, the audience was so enthusiastic. It, you know, I imagine it must be great. You're doing working hard on the show, long hours to see how much it, people are responding to it. Oh, it's great. Any time to be a part of something that, that has a, you know, an impact on people's lives where you move people emotionally. Um, it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been interviewed twice. In a couple <laughs> this year was the yeah. first year, though, uh, that uh, after what came out with the NSA and mm -hmm. Snowden, my phone lit up. And I mean, it just kept going on for weeks. What was that? What was your reaction when you heard that story break? All, the people kept saying, "This is all true. Yeah, this is all this stuff is true." You know, my phone didn't light up though. I don't have any. I think friends. Americans are very naive. <laughs> I think they're very naive. No, nobody really wants to figure out what, you know, where this is all going to go if if you don't have protections down. If, if you, I mean, you're going to be Miss, Miss Teen USA. Uh, you were. I'd be Miss Teen USA. Might not well. look as good as her. <laughs> right, right. But hey, the video I'd like to cam, believe. <laughs> she had her cam, yeah. cam yeah. on and off. And she did, there wild. was no light that mm. came on. And and here this is uh, all uh, uh, this, what some nineteen year old hacker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, we have a theory that the NSA watches our show. And then that's what they determine what they're going to leave to the general public. Right, so that's right. whatever we're talking about. They're like, okay, they're on to us. Okay, tell them about that. Right, <laughs> and right. that's what kind of how it works. Your two, your characters uh, started out with a very different relationship than you have now. Uh, this, there was, you were not buddies to begin with. What's it been like showing uh, sort of the trust develop slowly and that uh, these two now, you know, it's, it's funny to think back to how it began in uh, kind of violent terms in that pilot episode. I think that uh, Reese is generally a person who sees the glass as half empty. That, you know, when people say, well, all people are generally good, like a John Locke, this guy is more of uh, a... Uh, Hobbs, uh, a, 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 that that people have to be spanked, have to get in line, <laughs> and probably will go out of line. And if you let your guard down, you're going to be dead because he's seen a lot of that happen to a lot of his good friends. So was this a pleasant surprise then when, like, or, or is he still not sure about it? I think he really likes him. Uh -huh. I think he, he understands his his play, his situation that he's in. But at the end of the day, if a guy's willing to take money, for a, on a bribe, those people you have to still watch. So there, what I love about this story, and and uh, Plagueman, our, our 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 whole show is that there's a lot of gray area, mm -hmm. and this is not just one or the other. Oh, he likes him now, or he doesn't. There's still, there's still one foot off the bed. Do you think your character at this point, you know, is is all in as far as helping them, or is it, is he still always kind of maybe on a a little bit? I don't want to say slippery slope, but you know, maybe things could bring him down the wrong path again. I think I, I think Fosco feels that he, you know, that his involvement with this group has kind of brought him back to the once heroic image of himself that probably motivated him to become a police officer in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Fosco is one of those characters that that just kind of got caught up in the wrong crowd. Um, you know, he just uh, he, he was in a unit that was corrupt and. And you know he was already in that unit, and I, and I think for him to come forth and, and blow a whistle on those guys, he didn't want to do that. So he just kind of conformed to what was happening. And then ultimately, it's one of those situations where one day he kind of woke up and he kind of said to himself, "How did I end up here?" Mm -hmm. You know. And um, you know, I uh, I think that you know him being involved with the with the rest of the group has uh, has given him a sense of purpose again. Um, but you know. As a deal saying, you never escape your past. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we were talking on stage, Jim, uh, during the panel. You, uh, someone was asking about the fact that uh, will will we see Reese uh, do some of his uh, his ass kicking that he's uh, very very talented at? And you said uh, we'll, we will be seeing some more of that in the, the near future. Oh, of course. I mean, that's part of the whole dynamic of any superhero story. Um, you like to see that. People like to see that Bruce. Lee element uh, uh, to, to, you know, and we have the ability to do that. It's not easy to do, but uh, fortunately we have the kind of team, the stunt team crew, and the, and just uh, very fortunate that I spent a great deal of time doing this many years ago so I can pick it up in minutes as opposed to having to work on it for a week. And this show, um, the look of it, though, is, is it's extraordinary. You yeah. have a Jonah Nolan, the, um, the guy comes in and sets a, a high 
very high standard for television because he's bringing what he knows in film and putting it into the little box. Mm -hmm. and, and what's great about that little box is it's huge when you look at the, you know, a potential uh, millions of people weekly, not just once a year, but weekly that are watching your uh, program and then eventually syndicated and it just keeps keeps growing. I just hope that they do a person of interest film uh, somewhere abroad because I do think it would be up there in the Bond uh, element, especially someone with uh, th that guy's capabilities. And I'm with his other partner, Greg book. Plagman. <laughs> Over here, I think you got to take a bow. <laughs> right now, Greg Plagman, everybody. <laughs> I, I support all that. What you said, the movie, the comic book, and the all video book, game. Video game would yeah, be the way to go. I think, I think we should all yeah. do it all. <laughs> we heard you got some stuff coming up with Shaw pretty soon. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I love working with uh, with Sarah. It's uh, so much fun. Just the, you know, physically, the, the two of us on the screen, is I think is a little Laurel and Hardy uh, to, to start with. So it's pretty funny stuff. Looking forward to it, guys. Thanks so much. Thank it's you. been great being yeah. here. I love you. You did a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> it's good. You know, I should have been Han Solo. Damn. I'm, I'm, I'm ass-kicking mad. Now I have to play John Reese. Wow. Wow. <laughs>